So it's 6 a.m. in the morning and I'm so excited because last night couldn't shower, couldn't like brush my teeth, couldn't do anything because the washer and door got locked and the person who has the key was not in the town. So it was only till this morning at 5.30 that they finally came and I got to take a little quick shower, brush and prepare and now we're uh, heading over to say goodbye to the chief. Hey, Buenos yeah. dias. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then we're gonna be heading, heading over, <laughs> taking a boat down the Amazon River. So, <laughs> Buenos dias. Uh -huh. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So there you have it. They gave us coconut, fresh coconut that they just chopped off. Uh, we said goodbye and uh, yeah, it was just been a really cool experience here in Kubantia. Coconuts! Coconuts! And then now we gotta pack, gotta put all the bags onto the truck and head out quick. The part about this is saying goodbye to everyone. So we made it here. It was the worst sleep ever. Plus was bumpy. Oh, People are still that was in the here. Best sleep ever. She had the best sleep. There because look at look at her seat. Look at this. Look at this. Look at my stairs. little thing I have. He he laid on the ground. I, just, <laughs> I tried to sleep on the ground. It was worse. Did not help. But yeah. We're here. We were going to take a boat. Are we still taking a boat? I don't even know. But this is the river. Whee! Because right now they're saying that little guy is 4,000 souls, which is about 1,200 USD. And that is definitely out of our budget for sure. So we'll see. Looks like there's military transport as well. Some crazy guns. Do you think we can actually do 20 hours on that little guy? Rocking in those little things. All right, it's starting to look good. We uh, got off the car, have our stuff here. So it seems like we are gonna be taking one of the boats. I'll go there. So it's gonna wait a little longer, see what's the deal. All right, the final decision. There's none yet. <laughs> we might not be taking the boat now. Because we're talking about because down, maybe go by land. prices are so quite high. But check this out. It is raining like crazy. And you saw the little boat that we were in. Maybe it's better that we do take a bus. And then instead of one of these guys. They're figuring it out. They're making decisions. Trying to make it work. World race. Well, oh, that would be fun if we had to go down this thing. There's a lot of water going down the stairs. To where the dock. Is for there's no way to dock. So that was cool. The military was here, got to chat with them. They're super nice and they look so cool. I think I've decided after this race I'm gonna join the military. I chatted with them the <laughs> But other than that, we're just waiting. Figuring out the things. We're just waiting on things and people. Yeah. <laughs> mm. What do you think about that, Dan? Um, I think that it's extremely inconvenient, honestly, but I feel that <laughs> it's a blessing. I mean, it's God's will, and sometimes it rains, sometimes it shines, sometimes uh, we get what we want, sometimes yeah. we don't. True. And that's the world race, and that's the way that we should be. That's how it works. And Connor, what do you think? About? I don't know. Life? Yeah. Um, yeah, the mission field. You never really know what's going to happen. Mm. You're ready for anything. Uh, yeah. Is it super close in my face? Yeah. It's uh, like that close. Yeah, it's really close. <laughs> we are back on the road going to another town to find a bus. We're going to get a bus. Hopefully today so we don't have to spend the night. We'll see how it goes. A lot of people. There we are. We made it to Sakipo. Now we're gonna take another car. It's 
is uh, on our way. And since it's like Christmas Eve, uh, there's not a lot happening tomorrow for cars. Yeah, have to take it. Christmas Day in Peru. Yeah, we're gonna like keep going. Or right, some craziness. They were trying to raise the prices on us. They already agreed to like just having 90 per person and they wanted another 150 souls. But it got all sort of thanks to David because he's awesome. He's been helping us like sort of model So we got this truck and then this truck here. And now we're gonna head. It's gonna be a whole day, whole night sort of thing before we get there. We're gonna cross the river and we're gonna get to a town that's only midway through. People outside. I don't know how many people in the back are enjoying this. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. So it just started to rain pretty hard. We're <laughs> it's a really slippery road because it's like clay on dirt on water and it's spotting around and bumping. And we're on the edge of a cliff. But we're trucking along. There's the people out there, they brought a tarp. I hope they're okay because this is a lot. This is nuts. Two cars and uh, taking a quick break, bathroom break. The other guys took off, they're gonna get there before we do. All right, we made it to the ferry, it's now 7:37. It's already super dark. It was a crazy bumpy ride. But there's like a little village here. Have Barely anything here. Made it to the ferry life. Yeah. And this is um, this is us about to depart. We're just backing up and it's been an awesome little journey to yeah. see what this is about. Oh it seems like we hit land. Yeah, we just crossed the ferry. Look at that. The terrain is totally different. And this is supposed to be a highway. <laughs> How about that on Google Maps to show it's a highway? Pit stop, bathroom break. We're in a town, don't even know what it is, but there's lots of things happening. New Year's Eve, so many things happening. We are here for the night. Gonna meet friends who's gonna let us stay at their place, I think in the church. Yeah. Look at that! Yeah. The other guys are here. Dalton went to go get someone to open the place. Oh, so the crazy thing is, as we were going here, there was like three people sitting in the back of this truck, riding with us. Through all that bumps, through all that rain, it was nuts. But for now, this is just smooth road, so we're just taking a quick ride just to the church. Yeah, here we are. We're in the spot. <laughs> That's the church. We're all here. Finally! New excitement on the world race. This is our sleeping area. And we're leaving at 3 a.m. in the morning. Mm. Right now it is 11.58 p.m. So that's in three hours. <laughs> Happy Christmas and a Merry New Year! It is midnight on Merry Christmas Day. And you can hear all the fire. Christmas. Change of plans. We're not leaving at 3 a.m. It's now 8 a.m. We're gonna be doing something else. Turns out I missed my alarm. <laughs> so we are up. New change of plans. We're staying here in uh, 
Kunchanji, <laughs> and we're gonna be spending um, Christmas here uh, before we head out because it's just last night was too crazy. There was only one car available, and we were thinking about cramming everyone in there. Most of the people weren't even awake, only Connor <laughs> and Maggie, and so uh, we, they've decided that we're just going to uh, leave tomorrow night, which is at also at 3 a.m. So, but this time we're gonna make sure we we'll wake up and we'll get going, and hopefully it won't be like pouring rain because uh, last night was pouring so much that it would've been crazy to bring our gear out there wet. So yeah, now we're just gonna go for lunch, or no, breakfast. And uh, so far it has been quite a journey, quite an experience, so many things happening. Just to head all the way to uh, Machu Picchu. I'm going to connect to the internet after not being connected for three weeks. Let's see what happens. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Oh my god, feel that. Is it vibrating a lot? Yeah. Oh, here we go, it's still going. It's still going. It's vibrating a lot. <laughs> still going, look at all those notifications. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow, what, this hospitality here is just amazing, right? Yeah. Like, just, uh, they gave us some books too. And just like, yeah, my last ministry host. Yeah, they're awesome. My last ministry host, uh, David, gave me this bracelet just before we left. It was just so sweet of him. And uh, yeah, the people here are just so nice. It's really cool how they like uh, <laughs> really care for us. It's so cool. It's pretty. It's pretty cool where we are staying. We're just up at the top. Gotta walk up these cool stairs. Make it to the top without any railings. <laughs> You saw it last time on the vlog. You see it again. Haircutting on the world race is a thing where we just go and chop. And it's Jenny's first time cutting hair. Alright, I'm here with Dan. We just walked into a restaurant, asked how much. They're like, five so I'm like, cool. Battled something. And she's like, go I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. Good. So we have no idea what we ordered. No. We're we'll give it a go. Yeah. All right, so far it's looking good. We got some good soup, right? And uh, it's the cool thing about Peru is that every meal comes with a soup. So um, you order like a dish and then like they always bring a soup. And this is for five so this is like a dollar fifty USD. What? Look at that. We got fried egg with beans and rice. Not bad. That looks good. Good stuff. Bad right there. Huh? So comfortable. So cool. We went shopping a little bit. I was able to get new sandals. Oh, yeah. And uh, and we both bought some new shirts. It was only. 10 solas, which is $3 USD. Super good cotton. And uh, yeah, as we were walking, we just like went through the marketplace and then this uh, old lady was like, hey, you guys look like you're like a uh, follower of God. And we're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then so she started like preaching uh, like Bible verses with us. I was like, whoa, it's so cool. So we got a chance to like pray with the family. Yeah. And how neat was that? That was a blessing. It was like um, they run their own separate little little store and it was a blessing to pray with them. Yeah. And they were asking for prayer for their health and like, yeah. it was just, it was cool. It was a spiritual thing and God definitely shows up when we pray. <laughs> At breakfast earlier, I made a prayer that I wanted to see divine appointments and the yeah. food from that. Yeah. So it was a blessing to like experience oh. how so God acts when we just call upon His yeah. name, and it's just a huge blessing. Yeah. It really is to be used by the Spirit and used by our Father. Yeah, it just fills my heart. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Joy beyond measure. Yeah. All right, lunch or dinner's over, and ice cream. Ice cream. And guess when we're leaving? 3 a.m. That's right. That's in like less than six hours. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make this happen. Right now, it's already like nine I'm not even ten. Tired. We're not even tired. No, not even at all. We're gonna get up, we're gonna pack, we're gonna get in the car and get to Agos Caliente. Bought our tickets for Machu Picchu. We don't really actually have them yet, so hopefully they'll come through. And oh my gosh. <laughs> this is how it happens. It's, uh, <laughs> this is like quite a crazy adventure to get all the way here. It really is. Yeah, so many things we're happen. Not even, nothing is sure. Nothing sure. Nothing is nailed down. Yeah. We don't even know if we're gonna have a rise tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have the cars. Like, hopefully. Yeah, last night was like only one, so maybe this time will be two. Maybe this time it will be no cars and we'll just be taking a boat. Don't know. <laughs> Any what happened? What was there? It was a rope. Yeah. Oh wow. So if you want to go on the world race, get ready to sleep with roaches because they just kind of crawl around. Right. It's cool though. I'm fine. Dan, Dan's the one who kills them. This up for Dan. He he crushes them. They're not his oh, yeah. friend. Not but we have Christmas lights. Yeah. <laughs> 2:30 yeah. a.m. Packed and ready to go. It only took us 15 minutes to so actually pack. And check it out. Dead roaches. Here we are. We got two trucks. One truck. One SUV. 
This journey is gonna be nine and a half hours long through more bumpy roads, how about there? So far so good. What a view. Right now the border crossing is waiting to uh, get our air information check. And uh, yeah, we're like, I don't even know, halfway through maybe? Not even probably, is right now. Oh yeah, 651, so look at that view. So gorgeous, wow. And uh, we got another, I think six more hours to go. We've made a stop. That's lots of, what time is it? Oh, 8.45. Have it, so we only made it two more hours. We're so exhausted, slept, I woke up. That is a small town, I'm gonna try to get some food here before keep going. Stop by to use the public bathroom over there. But check it out, this place is cool. Seems like it's supposed to be a place for a mall. And they're just starting out, not a lot of, uh, Stores will open, just a couple here, but there's a lot of space for growth. This town can get real big. Okay, we met it to Santa Look at this to the map, but there's this is us here, and we need to get over to past Machu Picchu. That goes Caliente somewhere over this direction, I think. So we're gonna see if we can take the electric train. We're gonna go ask. Uh, we might have to do it tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, good news, doing the car swap. One, two, over here. We're gonna go take the uh, hydroelectric train. Hopefully they're still open. We got an hour to get there, and we'll see. We are literally so close to Machu Picchu. We're taking a car to the train or the hydroelectric, whatever it is, we don't even know what it is. But uh, from the back side, you can see Machu Picchu. Right there. Oh yeah, what an adventure so far. We do get to take trains, electric trains, through Peru beside the Machu Picchu mountains, which is right up over there. Yeah, how cool is that? And soon enough, we'll be in Agos Caliente. We're gonna take a break. This dog wants to be on uh, the vlog too, right? Yeah. What do you think about what do you think about the train? Yeah. Not too much. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we are here. Check it out. Look at it. It's so nice. Wonderful view. Both sides. Dan's got a really cool spot. All the way up over there. <laughs> this is so amazing. Taking this train ride is so beautiful. Just taking it all in with like look at all the jungle on this side and look at the river. That is so cool. Got all that. The crazy mountain views. Wow. Yeah. Jenny is like super excited about it. She's filming out of the window. The rest of the guys are pooped. They're like, they're enjoying it, I think. Yeah. Not pooped. Pumped. Look how pumped they are. So pumped. Party time. Party time in here. Another way to get up there is by hiking. But we're not gonna do it because we have super heavy packs and uh, two hour hike with our super heavy packs after a really long <laughs> train or no, car ride. Nah. Wow, this is so gorgeous. Look at that. Look at this. It looks like like Hogwarts or something. It's Hogwarts. Whoa! Not Hogwarts. I don't really know my Harry Potters, but you may know. But it just like it, it looks so gorgeous. Look at that. Whee! So much tourism. All right, right now we are hostel hunting. Went from one to the next. We're checking them all out to see. Uh, gracias. Uh, there's other ones. There's like a few around here. There's ba Hablos. There's Joe In. There's these two right between each other. This one here. We're gonna check one more, and then we might settle on one of them. Good news. We found a hostel. It's awesome. Really good prices. We're doing a 260 solar for two nights. Right. Two beds. This is one of three. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You guys have the nice view. Look at that. Bam. We're out looking for food now. All settled in. What a cool town. It's a great place to be. So many things happening. Live music. Lots of lights. Makes it look fun. Woo. This has fancy napkins, right, Oscar? Yeah. And we made it. 
This is it. We're here. This is Machu Picchu. Look at that view. <laughs> Connor's exhausted. <laughs> Daniel's ready to eat. He's shaking his head. <laughs> Maggie's set. Ready to go. Jenny's happy and excited. So ready to go. So ready to go. We're all excited. We're just tired. Super tired. It is December 29. We're finally making this happen. Macho Picchu is going. And we gotta go in a very long ride. That goes all the way over there. So we'll have to wait. But we're heading out. And there's no rain. Tip for you future people who are traveling here go in the morning. There's a lineup in the afternoon. It's crazy long and apparently it gets packed up there. Oh, where are my manners? I haven't introduced you to uh, Mr. Alpaca. Last night we had White Elephant. And Oscar bought me this guy. And he's gonna be traveling with us all the way we go. Say hi, Mr. Alpaca. Hello, how's it going? What's up? Oh, Jesse doesn't approve, but it's okay. He's coming along. He's gonna go to. He's gonna go to uh, Machu Picchu. See a llama. Yeah. Yama. However you say that. Llama. Yeah. Yama. Yama. We'd be like, comment below. Alpaca. Is it llama or? Yama. Yeah, yeah. Or is it an alpaca? Or are we just wrong all together? <laughs> well, this is refreshing. Check this out. We've got, look at these seats. This is going to be so much better than traveling in Colombia for the last little while. Look at this leg room. 24 USD for there and back again for this bus. $70 to get into Machu Picchu. That's the cost. You just have to find a way to get to this town. Here we go, here we go. Finally here. This place is full of switchbacks. So like back and forth, but check out these mountains. It's so high and steep. Whoa. There it is. There it is. No, the tree's blocking it. Kaylin, ah. how do you feel? It's right here. It's so close. Yeah. I'm so excited. Seven years in the way. Oh my goodness. There it is. No. These bushes. Ah. It's there. Yes. No. We're here. We're here. Stop. What do you want? We are here. We're here. Look. Look how cool this is. Reincarnated, remade. This fine gentleman is explaining us how to do this. You can take a tour guide for twenty dollars per person. Okay. Uh, but he's showing us how to do it by ourselves. The only time you can use bathrooms are here. Once you go out, you can't go back in. Oscar knows it, so he's ready to go. It's a weird profession. You know what this feels like? The grouse grind. <laughs> Where it's just lots of people going up the same way. It is so amazing. We are finally here. It took so long to get here with all the traveling, changing plans. Not even sure if we can make it because we were so far away from Machu Picchu where we were doing ministry. But we were so blessed to actually finally get here. But look! Oh, you have a friend. Say hi to your friend. Hey, oh hello there. Yeah, what is this? Hi, I'm also an apaka too. Where are you going? Wait for me. I'm coming with you. They say you can pet them, but they keep running away. Oh, hello! Yeah, he's here. It's so cool. He's running around. 
Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I got a bat. It was a really short bat, but it was good. Yeah. Run out of the way. Finally. Hey, wait for me. I want to join you guys. They're not listening. What do I do? Go talk to them. How do I talk to them? I don't know. Just go say hi. Excuse me. Excuse me, Apacus. Oh, they're moving faster. Mr. Paka, how do you like living here? What is your Oh, okay. Alright, how about you? Do you think this is a beautiful view to live in? Uh, well, I don't know if you actually lived anywhere else. <laughs> oh, that was not a good view. Maybe you do like this place. What do you think about my buddy? Oh, right, don't eat him. <laughs> oh man, that was like the best thing ever. I am now satisfied. Just petting the llama is like, or the alpaca, I don't know what it is, you tell me. But whatever it is, <laughs> I'm just so happy that I finally got to do that. That was actually the highlight of Machu Picchu. Go pet them. They're so cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, this you. wonderful lady just explained Hello. it to me. Yeah. So they are alpacas. <laughs> alpaca. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. The, the llamas are like, what, white and smaller? Yes. Yeah. And a uh, llama is general white yeah. or gray. Alpaca brown or yeah. black. Yeah. Yeah. Like that guy right over there. Where is he? Zoom in. Whatcha? <laughs> and uh, Daniel, her husband. They're traveling from Colombia. Super nice people <laughs> giving me some information about these animals here. And yeah, it's just like so cool to just be out here. It's amazing. So I want to take this time to just say how blessed I feel right now. It has just been like amazing to go do this. Like being here in Machu Picchu, doing traveling for 11 months to see the rest of the world, continually just blows my mind. Every day I always think like, wow, I can't believe I'm thousands of miles away from home out in Peru. <laughs> and what is even cooler is not just that we're traveling, but we're getting to meet people. We get to do a ministry, get to like uh, change people's lives. And it's just been such a great experience. And both equally seeing things like this, but also being able to be an impact to the world and go out there. And so I just want to encourage you guys, like take that leap of faith, just go do it. Because like when I was deciding if I should do a trip like this, uh, it was a lot to like give up, a lot to like change. But in the end, <laughs> it's just so worth it. Like God will just bless you in so many ways and blow your mind and you would just never be able to, <laughs> you would never be the same again. Honestly, like when you just go and do this and see what God is doing around the world uh, and then getting to explore and see amazing views like this, getting to meet people who are so amazing. Uh, like read my blogs, there's gonna be, I'm gonna write a couple about like the people that I've met here and it's just been such an encouragement. So go do it, just go do it, it's awesome. Wow, that's so cool. Like down over there is where we took the train. You can see the train tracks really far. And yeah, so this was the backside of Machu Picchu that we saw earlier on in a few days ago. We went all the way around and it came up this side to get into Machu Picchu. It also looks like we're gonna get hit by a thunderstorm pretty soon. That's crazy. Look at all that rain. That is just rain coming down hard. So this is great. The first place that you step into where everyone takes a photo, it's pretty crowded, but over here, and the next place you get to is pretty empty. So you can come here and uh, just enjoy your time here. And um, I spent a little time just praying, sitting down and enjoying everything, being grateful for like what God has done in my life. And yeah, I encourage you to come down here. Don't forget to do that. Like you might get caught up in taking all the photos. Like I'm already doing that <laughs> like crazy, but just having a moment to sit down for 20 minutes and just take it all in. It's just so great. These are such tiny or thick windows. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I can't even fit my elbows. Like, I'm stuck. <laughs> my shoulders are too fat. Okay, go back out. Yo, I have a freaking centipede on my hand. This thing is huge. Look at, look, look at, turn the camera on. What? Look at that. Do you want this? <laughs> no, not really. They don't bite. They're really cool. <laughs> Check it out! This one's in my head. Yeah! Yeah, here you go, like this. Oh, it feels so weird. <laughs> So I started sprinkling, got my rain jacket on, and kind of scarfed. And my backpack too. It's all covered up, but maybe if it rains later on, I'll be prepared.
Well, this has been such an adventure. It was so cool to come all the way here. The effort of us getting all the way down here, not even sure if we can even make it, buying the tickets to try to get that all sorted, and actually finally be able to enjoy this place has been such a journey, and it's totally worth it. So, thanks for checking in. We'll see you guys next time on the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See ya! Ha <laughs> ha